Oh, what are those? Squid, squid, squid. Oh my gosh, bro. Giant crab, huge crab. Oh, I got that on camera. A snook. I just saw something move in this bottle. Bro, there is a puffer fish in this bottle. I'm not yeah. even kidding you. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be searching a bunch of different spots looking for food to feed our punching mantis shrimp. If you guys never seen a mantis shrimp before, they have giant punchers on the front of them. Pretty much they use that to stun their prey and then end up eating it. So it's a crazy process, but there's nothing better than natural food. So what we're gonna do is look around for like crabs, little invertebrates, pretty much anything he can munch away on. I don't know if you guys can see too well, but right here, there's a bunch of little bait fish all flashing off the bottom there. I don't know what kind exactly. Maybe sand perch. Let's see what we can find up in here. This is where like a lot of crabs and stuff like to hide out. And also, oh my gosh, look at the size of that mullet, bro. Do you see that thing? Yes. You see that thing? It's the biggest one I've ever seen. Now with the crabs, they like to hide up in the sand quick, so you gotta, you gotta really have a good eye, but I'm seeing a lot of hermit crabs too we can possibly take with us, because you would love to break these open and just start munching them. So I ended up getting this clam. There's nothing in it, but I thought I'd bring it over to show you guys. And then we got two little hermit crabs. So I'm gonna bring these guys just in case we don't find anything else. Um, this is definitely a good food for him. In the wild, he would be eating these, breaking open those shells and, and getting to the hermit crabs. You can see him starting to come out right there. Dude, look at all the little snapper up in there. So sick. It's a school of all different species of snappers from like mangrove, lane, dog face, and there's even a barracuda. Look at that barracuda. Oh my gosh, bro. Giant crab, huge crab. He's going deep though. He's deep, bro, I can't get him. That's a nice blue crab though. That's what we're looking for, but just like, I'd say half that size. If we can get a blue crab about that big, that mantis shrimp will be one happy mantis shrimp. So right now we're on like a little sandbar and this usually holds a lot of blue crabs. So we're gonna see. Oh, oh, got one right here. Yep, perfect size. Look at him. going to you he's burying himself that's what we want now we go like this siphon through that a little we got him oh yeah we got him look at that perfect size little blue crab that's exactly what we wanted or mantis shrimp wants boom first crab down we got one blue crab two hermit crabs we're gonna see what else we can find oh what are those squid 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 Cuttlefish. Yes. No way. I swear to you. Oh, it is. Oh my gosh, bro. I wish we had the big net, but I'm gonna go for it. Oh, they dipped. Oh my gosh, bro. Those are the sickest things ever. They're like clear. They're literally blue, bro, bro, bro. We need the big net. They're everywhere. I swear, those things remind me of like aliens. They're just hovering like little UFOs, and then they just dart out. It's insane. Are those actually snails? Oh my gosh. They're hermit crabs. Oh, are they? Yeah. Dude, we need to come back here and stock the pond with like millions of these. They're just really good for the for the aquariums and stuff. So if you guys want to see a video where we come back and pretty much just load up on hundreds of these little blue-legged hermit crabs, get this video to like 10,000 likes. 10,000 likes, come back here and just load bucketfuls of blue-legged hermit crabs for the saltwater pond. What is this? That right there is a snail. Okay, well, that's something different. I actually never fed him a snail, but I know they love him. Add this to the bucket and give him another food option. Remember that eel we found just like doing the same thing? It was like the little green moray eel, me and Ty just walk in the sandbar and we stumbled upon pretty much a half eaten moray eel. Its whole like head was gone. We tried to bring it home and rehabilitate it, but at that point it was just kind of too late. He was so damaged and didn't have really much strength left, but we at least tried and um, he didn't make it, unfortunately. Not too much over here, but I say we uh, change locations right now. Let's see what we got here. Beautiful, absolutely nothing. 
I mean, that's unbelievable because usually there's millions. I mean, you guys have seen this spot. There's thousands of, oh, what the? What is that? A shrimp, dude, yeah, what? A wild shrimp just jumping. All these uh, little sergeant majors and snapper, they're down deeper. That's why we can't really see them, but they're just chasing these little shrimp. Oh, there they are. That's where they all are. Look at all these little fish right here. We got sergeant majors, snapper, grunts. Looks like more sand perch, just, just kind of everything. Even puffer fish, I see them at the bottom, swimming around there. Let's go down here, see if we can find anything. There are tons of fish. Oh, look at the little puffers. There's two of them right there. I don't know how well you can see. And a big one right there. Oh, I got that on camera. Oh, a snook. No yeah, I got it on the GoPro. Oh, that was <laughs> I don't know, but are you kidding me? Guys, I literally was filming a puffer fish and there was a bait school that came up behind the puffer and behind the bait school was a snook just chasing them and i think i got it all on gopro i mean if you guys are watching it then yeah that was sick look up in these rocks though or on them because you find like little fiddler crabs what the i just saw something move in this bottle i swear to gosh bro there is a puffer fish in this bottle. I'm not even kidding you. Look at him. Oh. Look at him sitting at the bottom. Oh, he's chilling. Bro, the bottle was like this, just like leaned over. No way. I swear to you, just like, I don't even know, it was like buried in the sand a little. But what I'm thinking is when it was high tide, he probably went in there to like hide and then the tide went out. So he ended up getting stuck in the bottle and that's exactly no way. what we got here. I mean, there's literally a puffer fish in this bottle. Let's get him in the sunlight so you can see. What in the, what's he doing? He likes it in there. It's his house. It literally is his house. He's not even trying to get out. <laughs> that is such a sick puffer. There's even like a little stick in there. This is legit his home. And I'm like I said, I'm thinking when it's high tide, he probably goes in there, stays away from all the bigger fish. But when it gets low tide, the bottle doesn't float out. It kind of stays in the same spot, just like the rocks do. So it ended up, it ended up getting exposed and there was no way of him swimming back out. So he was kind of trapped in this bottle. Not forever, but until high tide comes. Let's get him in this net here. Bro, in a beer bottle. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Little, looks like a little leopard puffer. These guys are everywhere around here, but I have never ever seen one trapped in a bottle. I've caught in fish in bottles, like little aquarium fish. Never a puffer fish, just, you know, exposed, not even in, not even underwater, outside of the water in a bottle. That's pretty, pretty uh, crazy. You don't see that every day. Look at his little red eyeballs. He's not even freaking out. He's being so chill. He likes you. Like, look at this. If he really wanted to, he could swim right out of this net. And um, he's being really calm, like I can touch him. Oh, there he goes. Oh, 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 little puffer. We just caught a puffer fish in a bottle. I wouldn't say caught, but I, I maybe more like rescued because uh, I don't know if he would have found his way out of here or what would have happened. He was completely out of water, so it would have been another like 10 hours till that tide fully reached up to that length and he could have possibly made his way back out. But good thing we saw him looking around, searching around for other things. We run into other things as well. So yeah, I'm just mind blown right now. That was that was uh, the last thing I expected to see. Look at this little guy. Not such a little guy, actually. Pretty big hermit crab, but such a unique looking shell. I mean, I've never seen a shell like that. Looks like you got into a little hermit crab fight. So we ended up looking some more. We didn't find anything, but the good news is we got a bucket full of invertebrates to feed to our mantis shrimp. So we'll see you guys back at the house. We are back home at our mantis shrimp aquarium and he's tucked in the back there. Let me try to get him out so you guys can get a good view on him. We got the blue crab right here. Try not to get pink. These little things you'd be surprised. They got a good pinch on them. All right, right there is the blue crab. We're gonna be feeding him today. Just caught this guy, doesn't get much fresher than that. Let's see. You guys are gonna witness how this thing eats. Wow, he may not be hungry. 
Look at that. That's so weird. That's the first time I've never seen him eat something. But hey, that happens. Sometimes they're really interested and really flared up, but other times they're not it's part of it. So uh, what we're gonna do here, this crab's not gonna go to waste. I really thought he was gonna munch it. I mean, he usually does, you guys see it. Could be full, I did feed him some live shrimp the other day. So what we're gonna do with this guy, is he's going right in here. Now before I throw him in, comment down below who you think's gonna get him. Who do you think? If I had to say, the trigger fish. Oh, 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 oh! Pepper. Yep, gone, just like that. We also got these crabs and snails, so hermit crabs. So we're just gonna toss them in here, let them do their thing, and eventually he'll get, eventually he'll make his way to them. Oh, it's right here, trigger. Oh, look through the panel. Oh! What uh, was that? Him poking the glass? The trigger? Yeah, with his beak. That thing is so strong. That wraps up today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It was kind of all over the place. We ended up finding a puffer fish in a bottle, pretty much rescued him out of there. We ended up giving him a little hand and releasing him back into the waters. But overall, pretty fun video. Went out there exploring, fed some of the fish, tried feeding the mantis shrimp, but we didn't have any success with that. We'll definitely try again. So with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one. See you.